Okay, Citizens Eye here today and I've got with me Peter Smith of the Cookie Learning Foundation. Morning Peter. Hello there. Could you tell us a bit more about the foundation? Yes, we're a social enterprise charity mainly based in Belgrave with our um, computer recycling department based over in Beaumont Lees. We've been working now for something like six years. Um, IT is at the heart of everything that we do, hence the e-learning foundation. So all the work that we do, we encourage people to use the internet, to learn how to use computers. Um, we run courses in the Belgrave, at the Belgrave Training Centre and our computer recycling facility is in Beaumont Lees. Yeah, what's the kind of thing that goes on in Beaumont Lees, for instance? In Beaumont Lees we repair computers, we get computers donated to us, we repair those, recycle them, pass them on to people at very low cost. We also have people coming in for their computers to be fixed, mended, and then we do training for people that want to find out how to build their own computers and possibly set their own small business up. Yeah, you obviously do, looking at your sign there, do a lot of work around immigration and citizenship. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, we've got a group of people that work with us helping us to train people to prepare themselves for the life in the UK test. A lot of the work that we do is to help these people whose English isn't very good to improve their English spoken skills. We take them through the life in the UK book and then they go to Skills for Enterprise to take their test. And we've had about a 95% success rate. I'm very happy with that. Do you think, Peter, it's a really important barrier to break through the, the kind of fear of <coughs> kind of computers and things like that and I've been down to your sessions and your staff seem really good at doing that and you also work with volunteers in that as well don't you? We have volunteers that help the tutors so yeah. that's the first point but one thing that we're very keen to do is to get our volunteers who were originally learners with us yeah. they become our volunteers and they also go out into the community to tell their friends about what we're doing but yes the whole thing about using computers a lot of people is a big big concern but I think the proof in the pudding is we've had people in their 90s come along to us yeah. and what really really pleases me is the grandparents that come back and say they can now talk to their grandchildren about new technology. Yeah and um, one thing that particularly interested me Peter was the fact that you were able, your tutors were able to work with the communities in using their own languages in working say doing things like citizenship and explaining things about computers do you think that's an important offer as well? Well yes whilst we want people to learn to speak English and use English as their first language there are a lot of people that still need this backup <clears throat> so rather than just concentrating on doing everything speaking to them in English we will fall back onto their own languages so we've got people that can speak a range of languages and that they do find that very helpful and also a lot of the work that we do is tended to be sort of working at their own speed so if we've got people that need a bit more time spent learning a particular point we'll spend that time with them rather than rush them through a course of work that's got to be finished in a short space of time. Yeah. Now does the uh, Cookie Learning Foundation have a website? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do have a website. Yes, I'll give you the website. Yeah. It's C E L F D, short for the Cookie Learning Foundation. Yeah. Co. Uk. Okay, and phone numbers. I'll just pan down to the uh, centre in Belgrave. So the number is zero double one six two six six nine zero four zero. So. If people phone there, presumably they can get hold of the Beaumont Lees number as well, Peter? Or The Beaumont Lees number, yep. 229 yep. 3123. Peter, thanks a lot for today and good luck with the event today. Thank you.